Hi, I'm Anders Brownworth. There's this trend that's been bugging me over the years. It's this confusion of terms that the technical community inflicts upon everyone else and has got to stop. For example, remember saving things on the network? You just save things on the network. You save them on a server. So the network is something that the data trans transfers over to reach the server. It's like a highway. It's not a destination. You don't park your car on the, uh, the highway. So why would you say you save something on the network? What you really should say is you save something on the server because that's really what it is. So here's another thing. I commonly hear of these things being called routers, but it's not really a router. As far as the internet is concerned, this is really just an endpoint. You know, commonly many people will be behind this endpoint and because of NAT, it might appear to be a router. But strictly speaking, this thing doesn't route packets. It's more of a proxy for computers behind it than anything else. Primarily, this is a NAT device. So NAT, Network Address Translation. Computers on your local network use fake addresses, like 192.168.1.10. So this device takes your request, changes your fake from address to a, the real one that this one has, and sends it out on its way to the wider internet. It remembers that it did this, so when responses come back, it can change the destination address back to your fake address and then send it onto your computer over the local network. So now you could argue, you know, that this device does a lot more than just NAT, and you'd be right. I mean, this has a DHCP server in it. You know, these things usually have web servers for configuration. You know, in many cases, they have wireless access points built in, like like this one does. Um, but its primary function in life is to supply internet access uh, to the computers behind it. And uh, the critical feature there is NAT. Uh, in essence, it, you know, this thing masquerades for you because your computer is not directly routable on the internet. So if this, is an, in a, if this is not a router, then what should you call it? Well, I think these things should be called NAT devices because primarily that's what they do. Sure, it has DHCP and wireless access point, but they aren't strictly necessary to supply internet access. You could use statically assigned addresses or a wired network connection, and you'd be just fine. But if you take away the NAT, you can't get on the internet. So that's why I think these things should be called NAT devices. So I think the world would be a much better place if the technical community would just call things what they are. You know, it's that little bit of arrogance. We just, you know, it'd be much better. You could live without it. So there are two ac there's too many acronyms already. Why do we, do we really need to double down on it and start, you know, labeling things incorrectly? I rest my case.